Hi everybody, it's Cindy, and um, I'm redoing this video. I'd already done it once, but I'm redoing it because it is, um, I lost the other one. So, anyway, we're going to go fast. I went to an estate sale today. I bought a box, and I'm going to show this to you. I bought a box of jewelry. Uh, it's probably uh, about a 10 by 10 box. I paid $50 for this box. Um, it has 70, more than 70 items in it. And so, um, let's go fast. Don't pay attention to the, um, to the prices on it because, like I said, I gave a one set price. So, this is a, a brown enamel bracelet. It is not marked on the inside. This is adorable. It is marked Kitty Craft. It is a child's or baby bracelet. And it's got a little gold heart. I'm more than 100% sure, even though this is not marked anywhere that I've seen. I haven't looked at it close, that this is gold filled. Because most of their items are gold filled. And then on the inside, oops, 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 oops. I don't want to lose that because it's a really important part of it. Crud. Sorry, guys. Okay. Inside the little box is this little thing here that says, this is a special gift just for you, and it fits down in here. It fits down in the box like so. And then the piece of jewelry slid up in it. Really, really sweet. Uh, I more than likely will be putting this on Etsy. So, I really wish I had a... Let's see this. <laughs> also bought a pair of uh, Antonio Milani, I guess is how you say it, shoes. Um, for one of my flea market booths. So, anyway, I needed the lid to that so that I could uh, do that. Yeah. Okay, this is a set. And I don't think I counted it a while ago when I was counting their earrings, big honking earrings with a big honking matching necklace and it is really pretty and more than likely I'm going to keep this and wear it a while. We'll see. Anyway, I want to see if, I don't think the box says anything on it, but we'll see. Nope, nothing on the box. Okay, so let's get rolling. Um, this is enamel. There are some enamel chips. It is repairable, so I think I can get it repaired. So we'll try. And, um, uh, it's really cute. It gives off a Sarah Coventry vibe to me, but I don't know for a fact because there's no hang tag enamel earrings. A, uh, a long bar brooch. A really nice uh, link necklace that is signed Napier. These are really cute. And I had never noticed, seen earrings made by this maker before. Mainly I find brooches. But these are made by JJ. This right here is. Come on. Get, is a really nice uh, heavy duty chain. And it has matching earrings that are. Obviously, at the bottom of the stack, no, here, here's one of them. Uh, they're matching. They go together. And the other earring is there. I just pulled it out like that. Okay, little flower. Um, these are, they feel like glass hearts. They're pierced earrings. Um, pierced honking big button earrings. This is a Petapoint needlework um locket and it says Avon on the inside of it right up in here I don't know if that will catch that or not but it does say Avon this is pierced rhinestone earrings um, fish hook gold tone uh, black earrings some uh, clip on silver and gold and they've got those little circles. These are what they call a comfort 
uh, wire earring. They have that, and um, they're just uh, um, plastic. And I'm stuttering a lot today. These, I thought they, these I believe are metal, and they're pierced, and they have that design in the inside of them. And uh, I hope my. <clears throat> these are silver tone earrings, and um, they're pierced. Another pair of pierced half hoop, uh, chunky, I would say 80 style earrings. I love this piece right here. I mean, I just love it. And it's so retro. And I didn't realize until I picked it up just then that this slides around. Isn't this cool? It's uh, a little George Jetson-ish to me. I mean, looks like something that uh, his wife would wear or Judy would wear. So, very cool. No mark. These are beautiful, big, topaz colored, brownish colored um, clip on earrings. No signature. A earth tone bead. Yellow mustard colored wooden earrings. Pierced, uh, pierced door knocker style earrings. These here are really dainty and uh, they're gold tone. And I've not looked at a lot of this really deep, so I don't know what kind of markings that there are on the back of some of those. That's why I showed you that one. This is a pair of clear up on silver tone fleur de leaf earrings. And uh, I may have the fleur de lis upside down. This looks like a multi shaped cross. It's a pendant, and it has red stones in the middle and on the ends. These are screw on earrings. Each it's missing a rhinestone on each one, but I can repair that and will. These are really unique to me. They um, have what looks like enamel, but there's a pattern in it. And I think it's done to almost look like marble and then that and there was no signature on them. They're clips. This here is another pair of clip on earrings, nautical style rope around a wooden bead or a wooden piece a little music symbol it says Dixon's and it has a scripture verse on it a little gold leaf earring not sure that it's leaf or leafed a uh, dome pair of uh, earrings that look like rope knotted twisted around and around um, this set here uh, is a Set that the lady was sure it was Brighton, but I could not see the signature. All I could see was what looked like two, a B and an R. And then, because it was in a basement, and so then when I got out and um, am in really good light, I can tell that they are Brighton. So, um, it's a set. These are French, they look like French coins. It's in French. They may be Canadian. Um, ear earrings pierced a pair of little black tone pierced earrings this one here is interesting because it's not what I thought it was and I'm trying to untangle okay there's a child outside screaming okay um, it's a necklace it's signed Kenneth Cole this one here is a, um, I thought it was cloisonne. It's not. It is a painted scene that is lacquered on what feels like to be wood. So, this has, a, these are clip-on earrings. They have a really pretty blue, blue color to them. This little beads are really pretty. Um, they're not... Uh, sign neither. Cardrack Cafe. Does that have a date on it? I'm saving out my favorite pieces. I showed you two my one of my favorite pieces earlier, the little kitty craft. Okay, a pair of green earrings. This right here is I'm trying to get it caught up on me. Come on, don't get caught. There you go. It is a multi-strand rope style snake style necklace that has a knot and is tied 
making a friend and it is really cute but it is not signed at all and here is a pair of gold tone shell clip-on earrings on a gold what looks like to be a gold tone sand dollar this is another set that the lady was sure was brighten and you can really see in here if you look it almost looks like there's two letters in there and i thought it said br and i felt real bad later that um that uh, uh i told her i wasn't sure that it was brighten because it, it looked like it had a double signature on it so i don't know brighton very well so obviously so anyway a red button style earring in an oval shape this earring right here says mm, is this the one this says hong kong on it um that earring that i pulled off that matches the chain and this is the the other one it says norma jean on it so i'll have to look up norma jean i've never heard of norma jean so anyway these are unsigned big uh heavy gold tone metal button look uh in oval this is a um enameled different colored enamels and these earrings are very interesting because they're marked right and left so um so obviously you need to wear them so they hug your head the right way uh, a lion looking door knocker kind of earring a double-sided earring that has uh, the sun and moon uh sun and star the moon and star and then on the other side it's just the stone and it has this decorative but if you look you can see they've been glued back and um they use that yucky red glue i don't know what that stuff is but it is yucky really nasty glue anyway these are cute i really like them they are um faux clocks they look like foes they uh clocks that but there's no movement to them and they have rhinestones in the 12 3 6 and 9 places this is a pair of vintage earrings missing a rhinestone i will replace that just the one and they have baguettes and they are clips and i believe they are vintage they look vintage um this is a knot a gold tone knot earring pierced um these are just a pair of clip-on earrings with a yellow plastic stone in them or not plastic simulated stone it's not can't be plastic and stone can it this is a really pair pretty pair of earrings a topaz deep brownish i guess topaz is the word i'm looking for a red nautical pair of earrings camera keeps doing something with the color i'm not real sure a pair of green looking earrings pierced a um avon multi-chain with mother of pearl beads in it i liked these um they're little blue fish hook style earrings silver tone a pair of white plastic lucite plastic door knocker style earrings they're pierced a um, big pair of faux pearl button style clip on earrings very 80s a um, little pinky dome ring that is signed that says it is gold tone but gold filled not gold tone gold filled but uh, uh it's you can tell it's losing its stuff there a pair of nautical style earrings with the little rope and blue stones a black heart surrounded by um, rhinestones and um, those are pierced and there is no signature this is a chandelier style necklace pendant drop I don't know what you would call that anyway <clears throat> this little pen was a favorite i liked it i had it picked out to go it is not signed in any way but it's itty bitty and it has a little green looking malachite looking stone in it so uh this bracelet 
is signed Coro. I've never seen a Coro bangle bracelet. The um, signature's nearly worn off from being put on and off. So, and there's the match to the other earring that is signed left and right. This is my favorite piece. It is a necklace. It's got this blue lapis look. I'm not going to say that it is lapis, but it looks like a lapis in here. And it's surrounded by faux pearls. That's my least favorite part about it. It's got this twisted rope chain. And you turn it over, and it has a Baroness 17 jewel uh, watch that is a wind-up watch signed with an M, M, and what looks like to either be a... Um, almost like a, a pitch axe or a, a it kind of looks like a J anyway if you know anything about that tell me it is so pretty but it's signed with an M anyway it's gorgeous let me see if I can get this close enough that you can see that signature I hope you can see it so anyway that is the end of it. There were 70, I believe, 71 pieces. And really, there's more than that because there was several, uh, I know, at least three, if not four, necklace and earring sets. So, um, it was a great haul. Um, I enjoyed getting to do that. And that's the first estate sale that I've gone to that I found jewelry I could actually buy. So, anyway, so thanks. Have fun picking. Uh... Be sure to share your treasures. Be sure to leave a thumbs up if you like this video. And leave a comment with helping me out with some of this stuff. So, thank you. You guys have a wonderful weekend. Be safe. Bye.